Hi mga kapade, let me first sing a song for you. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Can you guess where I'm going? Yes, you are right. I am going to Buenos Aires, Argentina. And I am super excited because this is my first time in South America. And I will be spending here for three weeks in order to experience their culture, tradition, and especially their foods. Uh, Buenos Aires is the capital of Argentina. It is considered to be the Paris of South America. It is one of the favorite cities in the world. Yeah! We will discover the most interesting places and tourist attraction. Its capital is full of colors and tango while showcasing a mix of fun activities and coarse foodies. I will introduce you to some of the Argentine dishes and let's go! Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days I'm kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Li Welcome to Buenos Aires! Woo! I will begin with the city most identifiable landmark, the Obelisk. That is the Obelisk. It is a national historic monument and an icon of Buenos Aires. It is erected in 1936 to commemorate the fourth centenary of the first foundation of Buenos Aires by Pedro Mendoza in 1536 to mark where the Argentine national flag was raised for the first time. A few moments. It is hard to believe, but the Recoleta Cemetery is probably one of the most popular tourist destination and attraction here in Buenos Aires. Oh my God, this is the first time in my entire life that I would admire a cemetery which is beautiful with majestic tomb. It is the important cemetery here in Buenos Aires. Almost every famous and elite families and politicians were buried here. The most famous person who lies here is Eva Peron, buried in Duarte tomb. Her alarm goes off and she gets up to watch the morning news. Doesn't work no more but tells a lot of stories about her youth. Drinks more lately and got pills in many different colors too. Morning light is showing, she moves the chair to look out at her view. But a shop was bought right across the street, and it stands by the sun where I see used to be. In the afternoons on the couch to read, those through old pictures and memories. Our heroes have been forgotten, our heroes so brave and bold. Our heroes have been forgotten, our heroes so they got old. Our heroes have been forgotten. And looking back into the history of Argentina, Eva Duarte Perón was the first lady of Argentina, a political and social activist, and a wife of Argentina President Juan Perón. Buenos Aires is the birthplace of tango, so it's the perfect place to learn or just watch the professionals. Tango shows are one of the most visitors' bucket lists for a visit to Argentina. And for a good reason, the slow, elegant, and sensual dance is fascination to watch. However, 
few visitors know the history behind Argentina's famous tango. According to our tango tour guide, tango is a dance and music at the same time and used to be a special kind of music and a dance style. The dance is intimate and highly sensual performed by couples and the music which accompanies it tends to be low-key with element of nostalgia, desperation, and sadness. And one fact about tango is that it is a result of a melting pot of homesick immigrants towards the ends of 1880s. And now, tango is the most popular dance all around the world. I just arrived here in the most beautiful bookshop in the world. Housed in a former theater, the building was constructed in 1919 as a theater before being rebumped as cinema. The bookshop remains the fresh code ceiling, ornate theater boxes, elegant rounded balconies, red stage curtains, and other the trimmings needed to make this a truly splendid to behold. There are masses of books to browse, although in the majority are in the Spanish. Live music is performed on the stage where you can sip a coffee and read a book. Three out. If you are visiting Buenos Aires, going to a weekend outdoor market is a must. During the big immigration periods in Buenos Aires, there was a lot of... Uh, so this is why they built this Russian place. The San Telmo market has become a popular tourist destination, and rightfully so. This place is filled with local artisans selling anything from paintings, local products, jewelries, foods, and many more. It is also a great place for food lovers. The San Telmo neighborhood in tourist guides is best known for their Sunday markets. The old cobblestone streets are lined with blocks and blocks of tables with music, clothing, art, toys, and antiques. You also smell the aroma of grilled meat wafting through the street which will entice you to stop for a moment and snack on a churipan or empanadas. This place is located between the streets of Defensa, Estados Unidos, and Bolivar. You can get inside from every side and everywhere you will find some place to drink, eat, and buy groceries and many more other shops. Some time ago, the San Telmo market was more famous because of the antique shop, but nowadays, it's more a gastronomic hub. So if you're looking for a taste of Argentina, make sure to visit San Telmo market. And one of the best buy here is the empanada. Empanada has been an integral part of the culture, and this place is a good place to have a taste of their authentic empanadas and know more about their food culture. So if you are in Buenos Aires, San Telmo Market is a must. At my back is the Floralis Generica and it is built in 2002 and one of the main symbols of Buenos Aires. It is an enormous and simple flower that can be found in the water pool just next to the National Museum of Fine Arts here in Buenos Aires. They said its petal of flowers are open about 8 a.m. and closes during the sunset. One of the interesting facts about this flower is that there are only four nights when the petal is open. It is during May 25, September 21, December 24, and December 31. And I don't know exactly what the reason is. They just say it to me. Chinatown, the Barrio Chino, as the local call it, is situated in Belgrano on the North City and it is a must for visitors coming to Buenos Aires. Walking through, you will definitely notice the street's names written in Chinese and Spanish. During 90s, after the second wave of Asian immigration, this enclave became a hub for Asian food restaurants as well as supermarkets and stores imported from all over the world. As you walk through the street of Aribenos, you will encounter many shops selling made-in-China products such as toys, jewelries, clothes, eyeglasses, decorative objects, porcelain cups, and even Japanese pop music. 
all of them at very reasonable prices. And the best thing to do here is to try the Chinese food at very cheap price. Safe in Buenos Aires. Is it safe in Buenos Aires? Say, what do you call safe? <laughs> safe for travelers, I mean. Buenos Aires is uh, one of the safest cities in Latin America. Uh, still, I wouldn't be flashing my very expensive phones mm -hmm. or very expensive equipment. You always have to be careful. You never know uh, really what's going to happen. But I've been, I'm Ecuadorian originally, and I've been traveling around the world. And I, this is the cities, one of the cities that I felt the most, the safest. To be honest, especially at nighttime, you can see women walking by themselves, you know, in the streets at like three, four in the morning, and it's all good depending on the neighborhood. So you need to know where to go. <laughs> Ricardo, what is so special about Plaza de Mayo and the interesting fact about them? So Plaza de Mayo, this is where we're standing, right? Plaza de Mayo is where the city was founded uh, late in, in the 1500s, in late 1500s. It was founded twice, but this is the real foundation. And it's the house of the beautiful Casa Rosada, which means the pink house. It's a presidential house. This Casa Rosada is such an eclectic architecture because it was bombed in the 50s. There was this uh, president called uh, Juan Domingo Perón, mm -hmm. the famous founder of the Peronism. Uh, the Catholic Church and the, uh, you know, and the really right-wing government didn't like it, so they got together and they bombed mm -hmm. with the help of the, uh, of the army. Mm -hmm. It was all reconstructed today. It's mm -hmm. also a house of uh, many manifestations. Many people wanted to manifest their pain and their history. Oh. If you see over the here, there's uh, Mr. San Martin, which is like the biggest guy, the biggest Argentine hero who liberated Argentina and three other countries uh, from the Spaniards. And we have stones also here. They represent so, In the 70s, this place, or Argentina, was taken by a dictatorship, military dictatorship, and there were 30,000 people who disappeared, los desaparecidos, and every single stone represents one of them. Oh, that's interesting to know. Thank you, Ricardo. You're welcome. Let's pray there is more than we know as the countryside clears and the cities fall of the world. The world is yours. Let's pray it doesn't bring you to tears as the people awoke and there was unusual fears of the world. Is so unpredictable. I'll pray that this is the way as the earth falls. You know that the world is yours. to Argentina is complete without sinking your teeth into some world-class beef and there is no shortage of it in Buenos Aires. Steakhouse or parillas are on every corner street offering up delectable barbecue dishes. For some of the big food experience, try the empanada starter, parillas as main dish and the perfect partner for steak is the Malbec wine. Argentina is ranked second at the beef consumption worldwide with around 55 kilos or 120 pounds per person each year. Without a doubt, for all meat lovers, the capital city is the place for a grill or steakhouse, followed by local music. After 30 minutes drive, we just arrived here in Timaiken. We will check later what kind of animals are here in Buenos Aires. But I'm looking forward to see a kangaroo and also a giraffe. A few moments later.
Uh, Timaykan is a bayou park located in the city of Belen de Escobar. It is just only up 30 minutes away from my hotel. It is a well-designed, eco-park friendly with a lot of animals, an aquarium, and more attraction and restaurant to choose from. I've been amazed in fauna in Brazil and I would like to check as well the Argentina fauna. Look at that flamingo. That is really a beautiful creature.